The one who slew the Baylor at Melson Shear. I was at that battle as well. It was my unit that drove the Tuatha off the southern wall. Please, you must help me. Those Jotun will not let me survive much longer. They are vile creatures. I do not know how anyone can stand to be around them. You would have to be desperate to hire them as mercenaries. Many soldiers of the Alpha army were drafted, but I volunteered. I could not watch as my southern cousins were annihilated. I have been fighting alongside my brethren for years, and just as I was starting to think that this war would never end, you showed up. Thank you, hero, for giving me hope. The wind is ferocious, the rocks are sharp, and the water is still and black. You could not find a more inhospitable place. The key to this cage is held by a Jotun rune lord, just down the road. That fat bastard comes by here every morning and taunts me with it. Please, retrieve it and get me the hell out of here! After the siege was broken, my commander saw the Witch Knight Claren fleeing to the east. He thought that if we could catch him before he made it to Alabastra, we could get rid of one of the Tuatha generals. We did not count on Claren having a refuge full of Jotun mercenaries. Thank you. The Jotun Rune Lord is just down the road. Please hurry, for I have unfinished business in the keep on the hill. I have never encountered another Fey like him. He is one of the most sadistic generals of the Tuatha army. I do not think he even cares about their religion anymore. He just wants to see the world bathed in blood. Until the next time.
There are rumblings in the Court of Winter. There are Fae who are preaching beyond a world of rot. They fly in the face of sorrows, the cycles. They do not honor our tradition, but they are wrong. There is no winter without death. There is no growth without decay.
Product's lime died painfully. I have another favor to ask of you, hero. The Witch Knight Claren is holed up in Genig, the keep on the hill. Meet me inside so that we can hunt him. We cannot let one of the Tuatha's generals escape. Good luck. <laughs> You are here. Claren has filled this place with Jotun mercenaries. He must not have had that much faith in the Tuatha cause. We cannot let him escape. He must die. No doubt he has surrounded himself with Jotun guards. This will not be easy. Until the next time. Ah! <laughs> 
countless Alpha fell to his blades. My friends, my comrades. Even seeing his broken body does nothing to lessen my anger. All of the Tuatha will suffer for their barbarity. Thank you, hero. I will return to the main Alpha army with the news of the Witch Knight's death. Until next time. Child of dust is here for death. Grant their pitiful wish. Fear not what is over you. When it blesses you, fight all your life for. We will carry on when you are dust. So, the undying mortal from the well has returned. Your mere existence is an abomination against all things. How can you not see this? A child of dust who lives after death. A creature separated from your fate. A being with neither purpose nor reason. You were a mistake. A new way mortals found to pervert the world. Soon you shall be cleansed from my lands.
The High King Mathon ruled the bleak, silent fields of Wintertide. He kept the season as it should be. The blizzards howling, the skies filled with snow in the gloom of a long night. He purified the land under a white blanket and allowed death to end the slow decay of autumn. The woods paid homage in leaves. The waters paused at his arrival. The world revered him in a barren stillness.
to restock Ilan Doldran has what you need. When that Niskaru appeared, I thought that was it. Mel Senshir would fall. No one else in this world could have slain that demon. I thank Lyria you were here with us. The greatest of generals. I heard that when the Niskaru came, she gave her life in order to protect us. Come back again.
Do not be alarmed, young one. I am not your enemy. Not all of the Winter Fae have joined the ranks of the Tuatha. I did not join the Tuatha when they came, even as other that I cared for fell under their spell. The great cycle and the balance are what I follow. This war of theirs is lunacy. I do not understand them or their new god. My friends among them have become wild, not like themselves at all. They are cruel and distant now, fanatical in their beliefs. Even here, the Tuatha created death and destruction. When they summoned Baelor, the region was consumed in flames. It will be a long time before anything grows in the charred path he left behind. I am awaiting the return of my beloved, Alea. She fell under the spell of the Tuatha and marched north with their vile army. Among them she perished, one of the many to fall at Melsenshir. I wonder, could you help me with a small task? I need this ring placed inside of a hollow. I am forbidden from entering Ranil. When Alea fell under the spell of the Tuatha, I tried to convince her that it was lunacy. But her belief was fanatical. She banished me from her presence and that of her hollow. Thank you, mortal. Alea's hollow is called Ranil. It lies on the southern edge of the Keening. There is a small altar at its bottom. Place the ring there. I wish to show Alea that my love has remained true and that I wait for her still. My beloved, we have always been together through every turn of the great cycle. But with the coming of the Tuatha, she changed. She no longer cared for the balance, only for their new god. I tried to convince her to return to the cycle, but she wouldn't listen. She marched with the Tuatha army to Melsenshir and fell during the battle. Ranel is a fey hollow on the southern edge of the Keening. It is where Alea returns after each turn of the Great Cycle.
Impressive, is it not? This is where the greater Niskaru, Baylor, was summoned. Thank you for placing the ring, mortal. Alea will know that I remain true to her and that I wait for her still. Do you see the crater behind me? It was created when Baylor was summoned into this world. One of the greater Niskaru. He wielded power that no mortal should have been able to stand against. I do not understand how anyone's fate could have been to slay such a beast. Goodbye, mortal.